His mission, taking on the world's most famous British spy. And along with some fast cars, some glamorous women, and, of course, a mean martini, the best-selling novelist William Boyd has seized the chance of transforming 007 into a rather more modern hero. Mr Boyd has given his only in-depth television interview to Katie Razzle about the new novel, Solo, and his lifelong fascination with James Bond. Well, well, I feel like I ought to have a martini. Yeah, we have, have, definitely have to have a very powerful martini, I think, Katie, yes. Yeah. It seemed only right to meet William Boyd in the bar of the Dorchester, the London hotel where his new James Bond novel opens. Earlier in the evening, Bond had drunk two dry martinis. He had ordered a bottle of Tattinger Rosé 1960 to go with his first course of pan-fried Scottish scallops. Cheers. Cheers. Boyd is a best-selling author of novels of the likes of any human heart and restless, but he's also a big James Bond fan. I was 12 or 13 when I think I read From Russia With Love for the first time, which I thought was the most sexy, thrilling piece of literature ever to fall into my trembling pre-adolescent hands. And we were all quite innocent and, back then. <laughs> yes, very. <laughs> Films like Boyd's early favourite are most people's introduction to Bond. But the Fleming estate safeguards 007's literary legacy. Boyd submitted his drafts for approval. Suppose when she meets me in the flesh, I don't come up to expectations. Just see what you do. Whatever Bond's relations with M in the films, Boyd was told he'd gone too far. They thought I'd gone a little bit too intimate. And so, you know, we had, we had interesting, as I say, forensic tussles about interpretation. But basically, you're giving... Did you a, win? Uh, I, I won on a few cases. I yielded. I, uh, I fudged things on, on others. What did you fudge? <laughs> well, I sort of fudged the M relationship. We're a bit nitpicky sometimes. But, um, but you know, you can't say to a writer, oh, we don't like that, we don't like that, because it's his book. So there's always discussions about points, but it's always, it's always fun and friendly, really. William Boyd launched his book today, signing seven copies to be dispatched to seven cities across the world. And while Boyd himself can't drive, his book doesn't lack cars. And there was only one way Solo was leaving here, in vintage Jensen's. Ian Fleming wrote the first Bond 60 years ago. But in the 1950s, the world that Fleming was creating, the world that he put Bond in, must have been like the most extraordinary revelation. You mean you care about what kind of cotton your shirt is weaved out of? Um, oh, and you, you can choose different types of coffee to have at breakfast. He lifted a lid on the world of the rich upper classes in England. I'm the money. Every penny of it. Most of us are used to a contemporary Bond. Casino Royale was written in 1953, but the film, like all Bonds, dates from the era it was made, with Daniel Craig playing a 21st century 007. But the Bond of Fleming's books is very different. If you had said to Ian Fleming, aren't you a bit racist, he'd, he'd be outraged at the suggestion. But of course, you, you read the books and it's just casually thrown around. And, it's, and similarly, attitudes to women, attitudes to uh, homosexuals, it's completely of that class and time and wouldn't have seemed remotely out of order. But of course, nowadays it is totally out of order. So Boyd has updated the hero, setting much of the book in a fictional West African country going through a civil war in 1969. It's reminiscent of the Nigerian Biafran War, one of post-independence Africa's first and most bloody conflicts, in which hundreds of thousands starved to death. In Solo, Boyd's Bond cares. Bond left the village feeling helpless and depressed. It had been like witnessing some surreal version of hell. What could he do for those two kids? They'd be dead before nightfall, like all the others lying in that infernal room. I lived in Nigeria in, in, during the Nigerian Civil War, and, and you cannot, those, those images that, that people have probably forgotten now, of the, you know, a million people died in the Nigerian Civil War, mainly from starvation. And those images of, 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 of dying children still uh, haunt one's mind. But in retrospect, I look back on it and I see it as one of the formative moments of my life. He's captured some of that in his book, which headed off to its captive audience. The Bond books have already sold 100 million copies worldwide. 
William Boyd didn't have time to finish his drink. But in keeping with Bond tradition, I felt it was wrong to waste a good martini.